Today is finally the day. The day I've been waiting for for a long, long time. Seven years ago, I never realized what an incredible journey we were embarking on together. Looking back, I would have never believed that those 20-year-old, carefree kids having the time of their lives in college would bring us where we are today. You are my best friend, and each moment spent with you makes me the luckiest man on earth. Seven years of growing up but never growing apart, seven years of conquering anything life threw our way, and just think, today is just the beginning. I can't tell you how many times I've played this day over and over in my head, and each time I'm filled with a roller coaster of emotion. Today is honestly the first day of the rest of our lives, and if you ask me, the future is bright. I never dreamed that I would find someone who would challenge me to see the world in the way that you do, who inspires me to be a better person each day and a man who loves without end, but always with a touch of laughter. I never realized I could love someone as much as I love you. I love you with every ounce of my body. You are the kindest, most honest, and selfless person I know. The past six or seven years have been filled with a lot of good times and many accomplishments. This marks the start of even better times and greater things. Today is the day that we've been planning for for more than a year. It's a day that we will get to look back on for years to come with the best memories. Today we start our adventure together as husband and wife. You're mine forever. I can't wait to see you. You have known each other for years, through the first glance of acquaintance to this moment of commitment. And on a Saturday in Charleston some 16 months ago, you decided to marry. From that moment of yes to this moment of yes, you have been making promises and agreements in an informal way. All those conversations that were held riding in a car, or over a meal, or during a long walk, all those sentences that began with when we're married, and continue with I will, and you will, and we will and all those promises that are unspoken matters of the heart. Just two people working out what they want, what they believe, what they hope for each other. All these common things and more are the real process of a wedding. John is a committed guy. Every single thing he does, he commits to. He's been a committed friend to me. He's gonna be a committed husband. He not only looked out for Morgan, but he always looked out for all of us. And it was easy to see very early on how perfect they were for each other. I don't know a better pair than you two. The way he treats my daughter, that was a no brainer for him. I could tell he was in love. I'm so proud to be your father-in-law, especially because I consider you one of my best friends, too. So now as I stand here and I look at my best friends as husband and wife, I could not be happier. And I think about all those small moments that led to this friendship, to this relationship, to this day, and to this marriage. Morgan and Sean have so much love for each other, and they really challenge each other to be the best version of themselves. I cannot wait to see them do life together. Sean and Morgan, to make your relationship work will take love. Continue to date each other. Take time to show each other that your love and marriage grow stronger with time. It will take trust to know that in your hearts, you truly want what is best for each other. It will take dedication to stay open to one another and to learn and grow together. It will take loyalty to go forward together without knowing exactly what the future brings. And it will take commitment to hold true to the journey you have both pledged today.
in the presence of God and your family and friends today. You have exchanged your vows and made your promises and celebrated your commitment with the giving and receiving of rings. Therefore, by the authority vested in me by the internet and the state of Maryland, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the ground. And now, it is my privilege to present to you for the first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Sean and Morgan McJumpins. Woo!